to us. Jonah Reynolds, 27 years old, six counts of first degree murder. Sentenced to death for his crimes, has been on death row for three years, up to and including today. Well, according to the law, you're worthless. The taxpayers, they waste their money keeping you housed and fed. All you do is sit in a six by eight cell, waiting to die. That's your destiny. But today's your lucky day. A few miles from here, there's a hospital and they're working on a project and they need a volunteer. If you agree, the judge, and I spoke to him, he'll commute your sentence. You do the project, You'll be transferred to a federal penitentiary where you'll spend the rest of your days, but you'll be alive. What's the project? I spoke to your attorney. Your last appeal was denied. Do you know what that means? It means the governor is now free to sign your death warrant, and he will sign it. And then they're gonna come for you. And they're gonna shave your head and your lower leg. And they're gonna bring you to the electric chair. And they're gonna strap you in and you'll feel those cold electrodes being pressed on your skull and wrapped around your calf. And you are gonna have moments of terror you've never had in your life. And then I'm gonna pull that black hood over your head. And the last thing you're gonna know is the smell of your own burning flesh as that chair cooks you from the inside out. So, yes or no? Good. Okay, come on. He's waiting. Hey. Who's he? Hey! Who's he? Come in. And you must be Jonah. Pleased to meet you. Would you take those off, please? I don't think he'll be needing them anymore. So how was the car ride over? Is it true that prison food is terrible? I've always heard. What that. am I volunteering for? Let's go for a walk. The justice system has always worked, but it's never worked perfectly. What if we could turn it into a well-oiled machine? What if there's a new way to solve crimes that prevents any mistakes from being made? And to find the culprit as quickly as possible. It's a race against time, I'm sure you understand that. The truth is, when all leads dry up, when there's not enough physical evidence, there's only one thing that remains. 
the mine. Memories, Jonah. The only reliable, incorruptible elements that we can trust. Memories? What do you mean, memories? I mean, using them as a reliable source. How? We found a way to access and explore someone's memories. More specifically, the victim's memories. You can do that? No. But you can. For this project to be a success, we needed a third person. A messenger, in a way, that would go in and out, retrieving the necessary information to learn what truly happened. That's not possible, right? You, Jonah, are an essential key to this project. With your help, we'll be able to find out what truly happened. No more injustice, no more lies. Understand this. The development of this project has been my life's work. And we live in an era of progress. In this world, I only seek one thing, the truth. So why me? See this as a chance for redemption. Give me the information I need to solve this crime, unlock the truth from the past, and you'll get taken off death row. I think you can wait outside. We'll be good for now. Let me introduce you to Haley. She was stabbed in the chest 11 times. And the person responsible for her death is still running free. Five days before her death, she went missing. Until we found her body in the lake. No DNA, no evidence, no leads, no nothing. Only her body and a slight chance to recover what happened. And that's where you come in. We thought death was the irreversible loss of all memories. But scientific progress and technology has shown us otherwise. Her most recent memories still exist, hidden in a very complex network of brain cells. long, I'm afraid. Please, sit down. What you're about to experience is a portion of Haley's life, her most recent memories. Explore her past. Any detail can be the key to solve the crime. Come back to us. Jonah, come back to us. I can't. Jonah, are you all right? What did you see? Jonah? I can't feel my arm. 
can't feel my arm. Jonah, calm down. What did you do to me? Your motor neurons, Jonah. The connection to a deceased brain. It attacks your nerve cells. As soon as your subconscious is projected into another person's memories, your voluntary muscles start to lose their connection with the brain. Listen, no, Joe. No, 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 this can't be happening. This can't be happening. The machine, it creates a lesion to a part of your brain stem. But that's the only way the memories can be accessible. Please. I need you to tell me what you saw. You never gave me a choice. You have a choice, Jonah. I was dead anyway! There's still time. You can choose. To... Choose what? Huh? What choice do I have? Your entire life is the result of the choices you've made. If you have any remorse for your past mistakes, now is the time to make up for it. You had your life, Jonah. She barely started hers. Now, please, what did you see? Haley, she was with a woman. What did she look like? I couldn't see. I'm ready to go back in. Haley, do you want me to push you? That would be fun. Oh, Cooper! 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 <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cooper always loves meeting new people. <laughs> oh, wait a second. You look familiar. Oh, I recognize you. Uh, Ma'am, this young lady went missing two days ago. I saw it on the I news. I think you're mistaken, sir. This is my daughter. 
Are you ready to go home, honey? Well, well, well uh, I, I didn't see anything about her being found. Well, let me just call the authorities uh, just to make sure everything is okay. I'm sure you understand, hmm? That won't be necessary. She's totally fine. I think we should go home now. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I must insist. There is nothing to worry about. Just go away. <laughs> Haley, let's go. Haley, <laughs> that's a pretty name. Huh? Baby, let's go now. Is this woman your mother? Of course I'm her mother. What do you think? Haley? Haley, that's our little secret. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get back, get back. I'll... I just wanted to show you that I can be a good mom. Oh, 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 baby, look at you. You're all covered in blood. Oh. Do you want to go for a walk? We can go to a forest. There's one nearby. Would you like to go? Oh, my beautiful baby girl. Oh, you're so pretty. Let's go. Let's go. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? You know, when I was a little girl, pretty, like you, I used to come here all the time. You know what? We could come here every day if you'd like. Do you want to go for a swim? I want to go home. We can go home later. Why don't we just enjoy this afternoon? No. I want to go home. I want to see my mom and dad. <laughs> but I am your mom now. No. You're not my mom. I am your mom. You're scaring me. A daughter shouldn't be scared of her mother. You're not my mom. The brain function is slowing down. He doesn't have much longer. After everything that I've done for you? After everything that I've done to protect you? Why can't you just accept that? What am I supposed to do? Just let you go? We're running out of time. Get him out of there now. I said, get him out of there now! We'll always love you. Oh, no. 
Jonah! Is he responsive? All voluntary muscles have been disconnected, leading to a complete paralysis of his body, except for the ones controlling his eyes. He is able to blink and move them. Maybe there's a way we can communicate. You and I both know. We don't have time for that. Failure's not an option. We have to keep going. Bring me the next prisoner.